Welcome to a new daily top ask credit video. Today's topic. What do you think of Dalai Lama after seeing that video? That kid's reaction broke my heart. Whether it was a joke or not. He was confused and freaked out but it was an authority figure so he was going to do it. Even though all his instincts are telling him to GTFO. He was still gonna do it. It's fucking chilling seeing how quickly someone can go from regular kid to abuse victim. ETA for the people asking. This is the one that was posted here that I saw. For everyone else I'm sorry. HTTPS. www.reddit.com slash r slash interesting as fuck slash comments slash 12 yek you slash a underscore weird underscore video underscore of underscore the underscore dalai underscore lama underscore asking underscore and underscore indie. An utm underscore source equals share and utm underscore medium equals ios underscore app and utm underscore name equals ios smf. That's the biggest thing for me here. The kid was obviously taken aback. Obviously uncomfortable. But how in the world is he supposed to say no an adult? In public? Much less say no to the friggin' Dalai Lama? Consent is everything, no matter the intentions. And the crowd were cheering and laughing. What the fuck? Either he's a sick bastard, or he's senile. I'm no pervert apologist. But I've seen seniors, he's 87, who have done things they think are cute or funny when there's nothing funny about it. Or maybe he's both and his senility is letting his perversion slip out. That's what I thought of when Stan Lee was accused of harassing his nurses. Even after that came out, there wasn't a wave of former victims feeling validated to speak up. Which made me think it was the sexual inappropriateness that can occur with dementia. I wondered about that here too. Mostly just because the public nature of this is so shocking. Though I don't understand the culture enough or follow news about the DL enough to have as much of a preformed opinion as Stan Lee. And in any case don't think possible former victims would feel comfortable speaking up in this case. Due to a variety of factors. Worked with the elderly and can confirm some get handsy with the staff. Some get handsy with each other. Ain't no drama like nursing home drama. Occam's razor. The DL has hidden his pedophilia for 87 years while the Chinese government has been trying to surveil and discredit him the entire time and unable to do so. An 87Y, oh man with dementia had an intrusive thought and said it out loud. And then his PR team hastily tried to get in front of it. This pretty much sums it up for me. It's not impossible, but considering the intense pressure from China, looking for any avenue to take him down and discredit his movement, I'd have thought it much more likely that he's an old man losing some of his faculties than he was a secret pedo. I'd have thought the Chinese would have been all over that. What video? Wait what happened? Edit. Saw it. Holy shit. Absolutely disgusted. Also, nobody did anything to get the child away or reprimand the DL. Who's going to reprimand the Dalai Lama? Repulsed to my very core I actually can't watch the video it makes my skin crawl. It's gross. And the fact that he's willing to do that in public makes me wonder what he's done in private. If it helps, he hasn't had any privacy his entire life. Okay. So this might be just because I'm dealing with this right now with my grandfathers. But I have a feeling they're covering for dementia or some other related ailment of old age. The Dalai Lama is older than either of my grandfathers. So I'd honestly be shocked if he was still completely sound of mind. And he gives off the same kind of vibes I get from my Alzheimer's riddled grandfather. I'm hesitant to call it straight up pedophilia because of that. I think it's sad that it's coming to this. But I'm honestly not too surprised. Given how it's not even remotely uncommon for religious leaders to do weird. Gross shit. I wouldn't exactly be surprised if he was a creep. That said, I worked in a community for older folks with dementia, Alzheimer's, etc. for a while, and a lot of folks who were otherwise completely normal. Decent people started to do really weird and sometimes messed up things when their condition declined. Either way, completely inappropriate and at best he should not be in any position of authority out of incompetence. Not religious at all, but I'm disappointed by his actions as well. I'm not keen on the argument that I've been seeing on here like, if he does this on camera. Imagine what he does behind closed doors. I'm not saying he's not a pedo. But I just need more info on whether it was a one-off. Or is he genuinely senile etc. Now that this story has broken. If he has done stuff like this in the past. I wouldn't be surprised if others came out and spoke about it. Time will tell and I'm going to reserve judgment until then. A religious leader is a pedophile. Question mark. No way. It's also possible an 87 year old is senile and did something insane out of confusion. As far as I know. There haven't been accusations of him before so I'd like to know a bit more about this situation. Before condemnation. Edit to add. A lot of people saying the Dalai Lama should step down that's not exactly a thing that can happen. Though this does seem to be a good time to limit his access to children. I've watched seniors say and do things they thought was funny but absolutely wasn't. 
This isn't out of the realm of possibilities. Whether or not he is a pedophile. If he lacks the cognition to realize you cannot ask a child to suck on your tongue publicly like that. He may be too old for his responsibilities and perhaps he has dementia. Pedophilia is something some people have, and it is apparently very difficult to suppress. I feel more needs to be done in terms of treatment for those individuals. The shame and taboo of it does contribute to the number of children who are traumatized and or disappear at the hands of a pedophile's impulse. You cannot ask a child to suck on your tongue publicly like that. I think you shouldn't ask a child to suck on your tongue at all. What he means is, even if you're a pedo, want to do it. A sane person would probably realize he shouldn't do it in front of a crowd plus cameras. As someone who has dated a person who was sexually abused young and have seen the kind of permanent damage it can do to someone. I agree. Dehumanizing pedophiles does nothing productive. They need to be made to feel comfortable to admit their issue and be kept away from children and given proper treatment. My fiancé is a therapist. And at one point she worked with a local rehab facility for criminals. Most of the patients who had abused minors were all abused as children. Almost all of them by a family member or by someone close to their family. That's all she could tell me and frankly I don't want to know the details. Don't get me wrong. I'm not defending them and they should 100% face the, the law and suffer the consequences. But just like most other criminals. They also need help. Rehabilitation to avoid these crimes from happening again in the future should they ever be released to the public. There are going to be pile on knee-jerk comments riding purely on the emotions around pedophiles. But you're right. At this point I think we have ample evidence that we can't hate or punish pedophilia away. So maybe we should try treating it so that they don't abuse anyone. Sure. It's not going to prevent 100% of incidents. And we should still severely punish people who hurt children. But wouldn't it be great if these people could come forward to a therapist and have someone they can call who can help keep them from doing something horrible. Just like addicts and suicidal people have. To me, doing something that actually prevents children from getting hurt is way more important than the satisfaction of punishing someone.